Hi, and welcome again to Howard the Magic Tech Guy. And today we are... I am Thai. We are... Hi, I am Thai. We're going to show you how to mirror your smartphone to any television or projector in less than a minute. Very easy. Thanks, Thai. Hope you enjoyed that. But let me show you today in a few seconds, well, a couple of minutes, how to mirror any smartphone to your TV or projector. This is one of the best devices I have found. There's no cables involved and it's that easy. Comes in a nice little box called the M4 Plus called Anycast. Um, and all you need on your smartphone is something, and it's got slightly different names, screen mirroring, mirror cast, smart view, or something of that nature. It also works on your PC, and it also works on your iPhone, but that's slightly different. Inside the box, nice box, little piece of Velcro, is this. That's what the whole thing is. Let me show you. This goes into your HDMI on a smart TV, or a non-smart TV. It's pretty essential for me. I travel all over the world uh, doing my magic, actually, and I like to watch TV in the evening, and quite often some of the hotels don't have good Wi-Fi, or it's not that clear, or not fast enough, frankly. And this device does not rely on Wi-Fi. That's the key difference between this and, say, a Chromecast. And it costs less than $15, which is amazing. You have a little dongle, you just let that hang, and this is the power source. That goes in your HDMI, this goes into your power source. Usually the back of the TV has one, or the projector has one. If not, you can plug it into your power source for your charging of your phone. So let me show you now how you connect it. But before I do that, it's got pretty bad reviews, and I think the key reason is most people don't realize on this, this is the key to the whole thing, and just over there, and it's tough to know it's even there. You can't even see it, really. You can feel it. There's a little button. And to activate it, when it's plugged in, a little tap, very fast, will do it. A little tap. So let me show you how to work it now. Here we go. The TV's already on. I did have a little label on the USB to know which uh, side was for front, but I stand a 50-50 chance. So I put the label here so I know that goes towards me. Put that in. And voila. The TV, if we now film the television. Here we go. And this is a screen that normally would come up. And if you want to update the software on that dongle, you go to there, that's my Wi-Fi address, and it will update it. I've never needed to do it, and I don't think you ever do. As you can see, it works on iOS, it works on your PC, uh, etc., etc. It's called Anycast. Now, I'm not going to use Wi-Fi. As you know, my Wi-Fi on my phone is turned off. So what I'm going to do is give that little tap on the back on that dongle that I showed you, one light tap, that changes the screen. Then, using the phone, I then go down, as you can see, no Wi-Fi, I have no SIM card. I will go to Smart View. It's already, notice the TV, it's already found my S7 Edge. It's uh, pairing, and it takes about four seconds, and I guess, with luck, it says connected. And voila, that is it. So you can watch pretty much anything on this. Just watch a video. Notice the screen goes dark to save battery. I can sit down, watch any videos I've got here, my photographs, my emails, anything I want. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. Please share this with your social media so I can do more reviews like this. See you soon. Thanks.